Today, the produce you buy at the supermarket comes from all over the world. But in the early 1900s, small truck farms distributed produce to corner grocery stores and local markets. Before World War II, the Nikkei community, Japanese immigrants and their descendants, played a large role in Vancouver's truck farms, despite being kept from owning or leasing land by law. By 1930, 47% of truck farmers in Clark County were Japanese Americans. Their children, the Nisei generation, grew up on truck farms, went to local schools, and played with kids on neighboring farms. Many of them were used to long days after school. They helped their parents on the farm, played on sports teams, or attended Japanese school in the evening, where they studied their parents' language and culture. The fabric of the Nikkei community in Vancouver was forever torn apart during World War II. Starting with raids, curfews, and travel bans, Japanese American families were forcibly removed from their homes and sent to internment prison camps. The tragic removal of these Vancouver residents and American citizens left a significant and sudden void in the region's farms, upsetting Vancouver's food supply. Of the 19 Japanese American households on record in Clark County in 1940, only one moved back after release from the prison camps. That family was required to buy their land back from its caretaker and start over from scratch. For many families, there was simply no reason to return since they had been forced to sell whatever land, leases, and tools they owned prior to incarceration. Many people farmed the land we now know as the North Image neighborhood, and even more have called it home as Vancouver grows. But few left under the forced and dire circumstances of the Nikkei farmers. The new park on 52nd Street gives Vancouver the chance to tell the story of a community who put down roots here only to be removed, displaced, and forgotten. It is an opportunity to honor families that experienced great injustice with a place that is filled with beauty, joy, and a sense of belonging. Help us choose a name for the new park at 52nd Street by taking our short online survey.